Middle East tourism industry is bracing for a huge drop in visitors from Japan. But to counteract that drop, tourism officials are going on the offensive by going after visitors where they haven't before. KITV4's Paul Drews explains the strategy. Paul? Well, the Hawaii Tourism Authority is spending nearly $3 million to secure more flights to Hawaii while reaching out to other untapped markets in an effort to lessen the blow of the big decline expected in Japanese visitors. Waikiki is still a busy place right now, but those in the tourism industry say next month we could see nearly a 50% drop in the number of Japanese visitors. We're looking at about 154,000 in terms of drop-off and about 250 million in terms of expenditures into the state. In Maui, we are so blessed. We so the HTA is taking the message to come to Hawaii beyond the usual West Coast market and into America's heartland. So we're going to have to draw from secondary markets that still have seats available. Uchiyama will also push for more flights from Korea and Australia, New Zealand, which could carry in more visitors and a wider range of spending patterns during their stay. Mainland tourists tend to stay longer with trips averaging 9 to 10 days, but they typically spend less, between $147 a day for those from the West Coast to $177 a day from the East. Asian tourists typically spend five to six days here and spend more during their stay, ranging from $274 per day for an average Japanese visitor up to $354 a day for a Chinese one. As the Tourism Authority tries to appeal to more mainland and international visitors, tourists we talk with say the good news is Hawaii is an especially appealing destination right now. The flights are becoming a lot cheaper these days and so Hawaii doesn't seem so far away for us. And uh, the Aussie dollar is pretty strong at the moment, so it's not quite so expensive to get here. You always got the weather, you know, and a lot of people go, a lot of them go down to Mexico, but right now, you know, there's so much, like I said, crime and coming to a place where you feel safe, to me, means a lot more than going to some place where you don't. Now to reach those additional visitors, HTA will send out traditional advertising and also step up activity on social media sites. And if this emergency effort is successful, Uchiyama says Hawaii's tourism industry could return to normal levels by this summer. Paula?